Happy Monday, everybody. The Second Amendment right to keep and bear arms applies to local governments, too. Guns don't kill people. The government does. BMW owners and fire departments around the country trying to figure out how one of the most expensive cars in the market could catch fire after being parked and turned off. Dozens of people spontaneously combust each year. Showtime. Hi, everybody, and welcome to NSS. This is the Reynolds Report. Billy Bush is talking about that leaked Access Hollywood tape. In an interview with The Hollywood Reporter, the former Today Show co-host says he still has no idea who leaked the tape, but that he would have welcomed an opportunity to address the audience about the remarks he made before he was abruptly fired. Watching the video, he says, left him totally and completely gutted. Looking back upon what was said on that bus, I wish I had changed the topic. Trump liked TV in competition. I could have said, can you believe the ratings on whatever? But I didn't have the strength of character to do it. Despite being fired from today several days after the tape's release, Bush says he continues to remain in contact with some of his former colleagues. Megan Kelly's Sunday Night News Magazine on NBC has a premiere date. Sunday Night with Megan Kelly will debut on Sunday, June 4th. The series will air opposite 60 Minutes. Details on the format are sketchy, but sportscaster Aaron Andrews is rumored to be one of Kelly's first guests. Kelly's Sunday evening news program is expected to have a limited run this summer before returning after Sunday night football and the Winter Olympics come to a close in early 2018. Meanwhile, Kelly is said to be launching a 9 a.m. morning show on NBC in September, which would replace the third hour of the Today Show. Hey, the kids are all about those fidget spinners these days, right? Well, now there's a new fidget toy for adults only. Introducing the Fidget Finger. First there was the Fidget Spinner for kids. Now there's a toy for adults. The Fidget Finger. The Fidget Finger. Just fasten the Fidget Finger on your front. It fits fabulously on your flesh. One flick of the Fidget Finger on your female flower Mm. and you'll feel fantastic. The Fidget Finger. No batteries necessary. And coming soon, the Fidget Sphincter Prostate Pal. Give it a spin today. President Trump met with the King of Saudi Arabia Sunday. He said, I can't believe how you treat women. I don't know how Trump responded to that. Trump was treated to a ceremonial sword dance in Saudi Arabia. At his age, he usually needs Viagra to get his sword to dance. Meanwhile, Trump called the appointment of a special counsel to investigate his campaign ties to Russia the single greatest witch hunt of a politician in American history, though it didn't help his cause much when he flew away on a broom. Melania Trump reportedly doesn't think Sean Spicer is doing a good job. Something else Melania isn't a big fan of, aging naturally. After 146 years, the Ringling Brothers and Barnum & Bailey Circus have given their final performance in New York. They just couldn't keep up with the circus that's been going on in Washington. Anthony Weiner pled guilty to sending obscene material to a 15-year-old girl and he cried in court. You think he's crying now? Wait until he finds out how prisoners treat pedophiles named Weiner. The new Alien movie hit theaters over the weekend. Spoiler alert, he gets deported at the end. Peter Mayhew from the Star Wars movies turned 73 yesterday. He played Chewbacca, that giant orange-brownish creature who growls, speaks gibberish, throws tantrums, and always has to win. You know, something that could never exist in real life. On Saturday Night Live, The Rock announced he's running for president in 2020 with Tom Hanks as his running mate. I'd say they were just joking, but I learned my lesson on that in 2016. Eight people were injured on Saturday when an Air Mexico plane taxiing towards the gate at LAX ran into a supply truck. Passengers say the experience was really frightening, but still not as scary as flying United. Meanwhile, the Cincinnati airport is using mini horses to comfort stressed out travelers. However, the stress level of the Cincinnati airport cleaning crew has gone way up. Time for Nobody Gives a A new study has found that of the top five social networks, Instagram makes you feel the worst, mostly right after you discovered that your parents followed you there. Hey, social networks, nobody gives a 
Steve Harvey's ex-wife has accused him of torture. Yep, he made her sit through the entire hour of one of his talk shows. Hey, narcissistic D-listers, nobody gives a f and a Texas man is suing his date for texting throughout Guardians of the Galaxy. Nice. A Guardians of the Galaxy fan finally gets a date, and now he's suing her. Hey, Texas, nobody gives a f Thanks, everybody. We have a new episode of the Reynolds Report for you every weekday. Make sure you check out NSS Live, starring Frank D'Angelo and his celebrity panel of guests, including the legendary Phil Esposito. Tuesdays and Thursdays, NSS Live.